Welcome to Bring Your Brilliance. Are you ready to find and amplify your voice? Looking to be inspired by those who are already out there making it happen? Listen in as we shine a light on those who bring their full, authentic selves to do what they love, make no apologies, and don't try to fit into other people's boxes. With your host, Carla Taylor, who, after years of being inspired by the brilliantly shining people she was meeting, decided others need to hear these stories too. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the May 1st episode, First Fridays of Success, uh, Strategies for Success of the Bring Your Brilliant radio show here on Inspired Choices Network. I am your host, Carla Taylor, and we have some fun to be had today. So today we are talking about leveling up your LinkedIn and your life. Have you been dabbling at LinkedIn and maybe some other areas of your life too? Are you ready to show up more consistently and finally be seen? Isn't it time for you to level up? In this month's First Friday Success Strategies show, I am sharing how you can level up on LinkedIn and truly start making that platform work for you. With over 675 million members, and especially right now in the absence of in-person networking events, LinkedIn is exactly where you want to focus to expand your network and grow your business even and especially in the midst of a challenging economy. And have you ever noticed that how you do one thing is how you do everything? In order to level up in any area of your life, there are certain thoughts, attitudes, and behaviors that will drive you to achieving your next level of success. So that's a big thing that we're going to talk about today. <laughs> yes, absolutely, we are talking about LinkedIn, and I'm going to give you some LinkedIn pointers and hacks and tricks and all that sort of thing. And really what is going on is that we need to also look at how we're doing everything because how you do one thing is how you do everything. So, now, LinkedIn may have not been a priority to, for you, and that's absolutely fine, but it is now becoming a priority for you. It's time to really focus on what you want to create and what you want to be and how you want to show up. And I know that's one of the biggest reasons why people tell me, you know what, Carla, I'd love to do more on LinkedIn. And there's always reasons, right, that I don't have the time, it seems too complicated, um, I'm just too busy doing everything else and on and on and on. And But then a lot of it comes back to, I actually don't even know what to say, even if I had the time. And the thing about time is, we make time for what's important, and we make time for what we prioritize. And I know right now in today's environment, most people are still not back to work in person. Most people are still working from home. Um, all the in-person events are still canceled. And so initially, especially, we all thought, oh, look, we have all this time, all this extra time, all these events I'm not going to anymore, all the driving I'm not doing anymore, all this time is now available to me. But we're now more than 40 days in, even, no matter where you live. And what, what's happened? I mean, take a look back and see where have you even been spending all that extra time. Do you remember at the beginning of all of this <laughs> when you felt like time was in abundance? And honestly, Everything in life, our two biggest resources always come down to time and money. And most people, when they have objections of things they actually really want to do or they think they want to do or they're not quite sure about pulling the trigger on, it's either a time conversation or a money conversation. And often money is the easier one, but really, you know, it's just that I don't care enough to make this a priority. Or they do want to make it a priority, but then there's this level of, like, I'm not sure if I actually can do it, so I'm just going to say I'm too busy, 
or I'm going to say I don't have clarity, or I'm going to say I don't know what to do, or I'm going to say I don't have the money. Um, but what it really is, is that you're not ready. So if you hear yourself making excuses, or stuck in overwhelm, or stuck in confusion, or stuck anywhere in anything, uh, you are facing what's actually beneath that is this lack of belief in yourself. I know a lot of people might hear that and say, you know what, Carla, I actually, I do really believe in myself. And I do believe that you believe in yourself. (laughs) I know there's a lot of things that you do believe in yourself about or you wouldn't already be here and you wouldn't be listening to this program. And the things that you're still not doing are the things that maybe you're still scared to do. Because again, everything in life, and I know we're talking about LinkedIn, but everything in life is boiling down to two emotions, one of two emotions, and that is love-based emotions and fear-based emotions. So if you're not energized, engaged, excited, ready to hit the ground running, ready to go out there and do all the things that you want to do and you're doing them and you're you're holding back, you're afraid, you're not sure, you don't think you know exactly what you want to say about yourself, all of that is actually coming from a fear-based emotion. So I do a lot of work with LinkedIn, and I still am going to be talking more about actually things to do on LinkedIn. But today's focus is a little bit different because we are talking about leveling up on LinkedIn and in your life. And how you do LinkedIn is actually the same as how you do your life, which is why I'm spending so much time up front right now on this topic. Because if you want to show up fully on LinkedIn, it's actually not hard. You can start with having a fantastic profile, and I've had other shows where I walk through all of the different elements of a profile, but you want to have a great picture. You know, for most people, smiling into the camera, looking friendly, looking like someone people want to do business with, LinkedIn is a place for people to know, like, and trust you. And at the core of that, where it all begins, is for you to know, like, and trust yourself. And some people listening might think, what are you talking about? (laughs) I like myself. I know myself. I trust myself. And again, on a certain level, I know that's true. And there's a deeper level that might be holding you back. There's a deeper level that's keeping you from fully updating your profile and fully being seen for who you are. There's There's a deeper level that is preventing you from saying things Rather, that, that, that come from you and from the heart, that, that sound like you, that are authentic and conversational instead of the corporate speak that we've all been ingrained, <laughs> it, you know, just ingrained in our fiber of our being to be having to speak that way. I know for decades of my corporate career, I worked at giant big companies and I worked with all sorts of different with clients and I had... I had corporate speak down pat, (laughs) believe it or not. And I hid behind that because that's what you did. And it was always buttoned up and it was always super professional. And there's a lot of people who still believe that's how the world does things. But those people who are paying attention and those people who are understanding the way that we are moving and the future of work, and even right now in this time, more than ever, before people jump into the work stuff on all these Zoom calls and all these things that we're now doing remotely, people are checking in with people on a human-to-human level. And I've talked about this before. I've talked about there is really no such thing as B2B or B2C. And this is something Brian Kramer said, and I just absolutely love it. There's no such thing as B2B, business to business, or B2C business to consumer, because at the end of the day, it's all H2H. It's all human to human. It's a human being making a decision with another human being. And that's why the human element of all of this is where I want to focus today, because when you level up your human experience, it will translate into everything you do, including LinkedIn. So what does that mean, Carla? Come on. (laughs) Uh, what that means is that for you to show up fully as yourself on LinkedIn and to be fully authentic, and I've talked a lot before about being an authentic, 
authentic personal brand evangelist because you were born for a purpose. You have a unique blend of skills, of talents, of passions, of energy that is uniquely you. And you have a role to play in all of humanity. There's a reason you are here right now, today, at this time, with the knowledge that you have, with the background that you have, with the connections that you have. And you are poised to do great things. And the only thing holding you back is you. And when you get really clear on who you are, you are excited <laughs> to shout it from the rooftops. You are excited for people to know who you are and how you contribute best and how you can help them. You're excited to help the people that you're here to help. And that, my friends, is what you want to bring to LinkedIn. So I can tell you all about the ways to do it and what you can do. And I will spend a little bit of time here on this show doing that, even though I have several other shows that I've talked about it more and I also have workshops and things that you can join. But what I don't usually dig into and what I want to dig into today is how important it is to know who you are and what you're meant to be doing so it becomes very easy for you to create that content on LinkedIn, for you to just show up and be you, whether it's on video, whether it's through writing, even hiring someone else to help you write down the things that you're saying, but you know what you're saying. I work as a ghostwriter. And as a ghostwriter, that means I am meeting with my client, and they are telling me their stories. They are telling me their voice. They are sharing with me. And they don't have to have it perfect. They actually far from it. All they do is talk. I listen. I listen for the deeper part. I listen for the things they're not saying. I listen for the ways that they use their phrases so it sounds like them. And I also help them, as we talk, get really aligned with what's actually important this week or this month of their life. So it actually streamlines their focus and helps them know what really matters most to them. And then that's what we take to LinkedIn. So it sounds like it's all about writing and it's all about LinkedIn or it's all about posting content or that sort of thing. But really, it's all about who you are at your core and what you're bringing to everything that you do, and then I help you bring that to LinkedIn, or I help teach you how to do it. And so this core of you is the part I'm talking to today, this core of you of knowing your brilliance. You know, my my show here and my company is Bring Your Brilliance, and it really is about, first of all, I can't even tell you, when I first started all of this, the word brilliant next to my name was so uncomfortable and felt really like I was bragging and felt like I was being way over the top. And I felt so uncomfortable with calling myself or my show Bring Your Brilliance. And now most of the time when I log into things, I put myself in there as Brilliant Carla. And I'm owning it. And I'm knowing it. And I know what my genius is. I know what my brilliance is. And I know how to bring it so other people benefit from it. So when we come back from break, that's where we're going to start. We're going to talk about actually finding and seeing your own brilliance first. And again, my name is Carla Taylor. This is the Bring Your Brilliance radio show here on Inspired Choices Network, and we'll be right back. We all have a personal brand. It's what people say about you when you're not in the room. What if you knew how to clearly and confidently communicate your value in a compelling way? Tune in to the Bring Your Brilliance radio show with personal branding and LinkedIn strategist Carla Taylor to discover the tools, resources, and inspiration you need to get started and keep growing. Are you ready to make your mark? Learn how to bring your brilliance by listening to the Bring Your Brilliance radio show every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Central, 8 a.m. Mountain, and 7 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. 
email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Bring Your Brilliance Radio Show with personal branding and LinkedIn strategist Carla Taylor. To join today's conversation, Call in the U.S. at 815-880-8255 or Canada at 613-800-8736 or Skype at Inspired Choices Network. Or ask a question or send a comment by email at bringyourbrilliance at gmail.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back to the Bring Your Brilliance radio show. I am your host, Carla Taylor. You are listening to Inspired Choices Network. And as you may have just heard over our commercial break, this is a platform for you to bring yourself and your voice. So when you do get really clear on your brilliance and you know what you want it, the message that you want to say, this is actually another platform that you might consider. It is by far the best thing that I have ever done to pull the trigger when I didn't feel ready and I had to do the thing that I was afraid to do and this is actually the perfect example of doing that, that you don't have to be ready for everything that you're doing. You don't have to even be ready to show up on LinkedIn, (laughs) but you can still show up and not have to be perfect and that is also a big lesson in leveling up is you have to do things you've never done before. You have to do things that don't feel comfortable. You have to stretch yourself, as as Sonal Shastavari has said all the time, and, and that's her thing is, is setting stretch goals and all that sort of thing. So it is so important to not just stay where you are because if you stay where you are, you're going to get what you've got and nothing more. So if you want to be more and do more on LinkedIn, you actually have to be more and do more to show up on LinkedIn. And again, you don't have to be perfect or even close to it. So I talked right before the break about starting with even finding and understanding your brilliance. And a lot of us know what our skills are. A lot of us know what we've spent years developing our expertise in. We even know what to write as our strengths on our resumes. But is it really your brilliance? Are you doing the thing that you love to do? Are you doing something that you are so passionate about that you're so excited to get up and do every day and you cannot believe that this is your life. And it may sound exactly like your life is today or it may sound impossible or like a pipe dream that just, okay, yeah, 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 maybe maybe someday or maybe one day or maybe it would even, you know, feel that way one day a week. But but no, that, that doesn't sound like it's even possible. Let me tell you, it is. It is so possible. It is the way that I have been living my life and the way that my clients have been living theirs. And I have seen it over and over and over and over again. And it is not limited to just a select few. It is not something that not everyone can attain. It's something that not everyone tries to go after because they don't believe they can. And that comes back to my earlier conversation about everything boiling down to either a love-based emotion or a fear-based emotion. So if you're feeling constricted in any way in your emotions, you know that it's a fear-based emotion. If you're feeling free and expansive in your emotions, then that is your clue. That is a love-based emotion. I mean, all of this gets really simple when we boil it down to these these very simple ways to, to see this world and see our experience in it. And so when you think about anything, and in this case we're talking about LinkedIn, when you think about putting yourself out in the world on LinkedIn or on this radio show or anywhere else, but when you think about that, do you feel nervous maybe, some trepidation or excitement or even butterflies, but you do feel more alive and expansive while also terrified? Or do you feel like, oh my gosh, I couldn't even think about it and I'm too busy and I don't have the time, I don't have the money, I don't have whatever. All the excuses start coming up. So first and foremost, get really clear on just where you are. And you know what? If you're afraid, that's awesome. Now you know. (laughs) Now you know that that's actually what's driving you to do or not do the thing that you want to do. Because you can't do anything unless you know about it, right? So once you know where you are, 
And let's say you've seen that and you've gotten through that fear and you've decided that, well, I don't even care. I'm going to do it anyway, right? Courage is taking action despite the fear, not, not the absence of fear. So you've decided that you're going to have that five seconds of courage that it takes to just to do something. Let's say put a post out there. Oh, my gosh, who's going to see this post? Who's going to be judging me about this post? Who's going to think something that I don't like? Who's going to be turned off by me showing up as me? Because I have to be buttoned up. I have, Carla, you don't understand. I have these colleagues. I have these clients. I have people I want to have as clients. What will they think of me? And here's what I will say to you. They will either love you or hate you. (laughs) Not everybody's going to like you. Not everyone's going to love you being you. And you know what? That's fantastic. Because that is valuable information that you don't need to spend your time there with those people. You don't need to waste any more time trying to please the people who will never be pleased with you as you become more and more of who you are. And the people who love it, who light up when you come in the room or who get excited about your content are like, wow, yes, that's amazing. That's the kind of person I want to work with. That's somebody being real. And you know this. You know the people who become huge influencers or who become, you know, have tons of followers are the people who are fully putting themselves out there and not afraid of what anybody thinks. And not all those influencers are my cup of tea. I can tell you there's a lot I don't care about and a lot I don't follow. But the people who do are passionately following those people because part of what they're inspired by is the authenticity. And I'm not saying you have to have millions of followers or even – thousands of followers, but you do have a totally different experience in life when you show up as fully who you are. And so that's really at the core of what I do and what I help people do on LinkedIn. Yes, absolutely, I can help with all the mechanics and I can help with all the different ways to put things into different types of formats and documents and content marketing and educational marketing and all of the things that come along with what I help people with on LinkedIn. But what comes down to when it becomes super powerful and when people really resonate and respond, and even me doing a better job, even if I'm the one ghostwriting, is when that person is fully showing up as themselves or when you are are pulling the trigger to write the post. And here's the thing, too. Some of my clients are so funny, and it's just a matter of education, but they're so terrified of putting anything on LinkedIn that will be there forever. And yes, for sure, things you put out on the internet do last forever. So do do be cognizant of that. However, LinkedIn moves fast, super fast. And you're lucky to get a lot of views on it. And sometimes you put stuff out there and nobody looks at it. And that's okay. And maybe nobody will ever find that again. But the thing is, you're showing up. And you start to learn more and more about how people can actually see more of you and find more of what you're doing and who you can be connecting with. But the more you're showing up as you, the more people are going to be attracted to that and the more people are going to hear your voice and it's going to resonate with them because they're like, you know what, you get me. You totally understand where I am. And you are the person I want to help me because you understand it. And you're showing up and you're providing value and you know what, even if you're just saying hello, I hope you have a great day, that's valuable. Somebody needed to hear that. And there is so many different things that you can do and say with your business. Like, you know, you want to think about this is all a part of education. You're educating people with who you are and what you do. And so you might want to say things about let's say you do um, you sell insurance so you can talk about the things that you do for insurance but what you really want to do is like how are you different than every other insurance agent what is it that is your sweet spot what is it that you can do and chances are if you're in insurance and it's something you're passionate about you're probably really passionate about educating people about insurance so take one thought at a time take one idea for every post or every video or everything else, don't try to throw everything at them. Don't try to tell people everything you know. Take one idea at a time. So you might, for if you have a week of posts, let's say you do posts 
five days a week. You can stay on one topic for five days and talk a little bit more and give snippets of each thing. Or you could do a different topic each day. But in everything that you post or in every video that you do, it should be one small idea. And keep in mind, like I said, LinkedIn moves fast. So there are over 9 billion content impressions in one week. And so you also want to capture attention in a, the briefest way possible. So you want to keep your posts fairly short. You can have longer posts as well. You want to mix it up. You don't want to have the same thing every time. You want to make sure that you, if you're doing a video, it's about a minute. Um, now, can you have longer, more professional videos that showcase things? Absolutely. But should you post those every day? No. You can mix it up with short videos, with sometimes longer videos. You can share other people's content. About 40% of your, your LinkedIn feed should be curated content because not only does that show you as a thought leader who is looking at other people's things, and then you can also be showcasing other people and being basically a good community player <laughs> on LinkedIn where you're showing up helping people. Um, but it also, what you care about and what you're you're curating, and there are some LinkedIn accounts that have a ton of followers who only curate other people's content, but people follow them because they're like, wow, I really like what they're posting. I really like the articles they're pulling from. So maybe that's your voice right now. Maybe you don't know for sure what you want to say yourself. You aren't fully aligned and aware with your own brilliance, if you will. And so maybe what you do when you first start showing up consistently on LinkedIn is to simply curate other people's content, but you know what you're passionate about and you know what you care about and you know what people who want to be around you will care about. So it doesn't even have to be you doing the writing or doing the, the videos. You can simply be sharing other people's stuff as you're still figuring out what it is that your brilliance is and what it is that you want to say. But again, even showing up and right now especially, cheering people on and helping people get through this time, no matter what your profession is, if you're showing up as you and if you would show up at a, an in-person event or a coffee meeting and you would start saying some things to, you know, try to encourage other people, say that on LinkedIn. Like, just show up as you. How would you show up in the world? Show up that way on LinkedIn, too, because LinkedIn is just another platform that is the world. And so it doesn't have to be the most profound thing. You don't have to have every single thing that you post be you being the expert as the most profound thought. And again, you don't have to say anything if you don't want. <laughs> you can simply share other people's stuff. So I'm going to take a moment here. We're going to take a break here on Inspired Choices Network. And we this, this is Carla Taylor on the Bring Your Brilliance radio show, and we will be right back. We all have a personal brand. It's what people say about you when you're not in the room. What if you knew how to clearly and confidently communicate your value in a compelling way? Tune in to the Bring Your Brilliance radio show with personal branding and LinkedIn strategist Carla Taylor to discover the tools, resources, and inspiration you need to get started and keep growing. Are you ready to make your mark? Learn how to bring your brilliance by listening to the Bring Your Brilliance radio show every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Central, 8 a.m. Mountain, and 7 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Do you struggle to answer what do you do because you do many different things? Do you want your future clients to know, like, and trust you? Do you want to make LinkedIn work for you? If you're ready for extreme clarity and confidence with opportunities flooding your LinkedIn inbox, Carla Taylor's Bring Your Brilliance Coaching Masterminds and Workshops give you the exact steps to get it done. Don't have time to do it yourself? Carla's LinkedIn Content Ghostwriting Service is exactly what you need. Schedule your free consultation today at bringyourbrilliance.as.me or go to bringyourbrilliance.net. This is the Bring Your Brilliance radio show with personal branding and LinkedIn strategist Carla Taylor. To join today's conversation, call in the U.S. at 815-880-8255 or Canada at 613-800-8736 or Skype at Inspired Choices Network. Or ask a question or send a comment by email at bringyourbrilliance at gmail.com. 
Now, back to the program. Hello, this is Carla Taylor. I am your host here on the Bring Your Brilliance radio show, and we are on Inspired Choices Network and hopefully inspiring you to make some great choices in your life and in your experience of life of doing what you do and being who you are and not apologizing for it and not having any doubt that when you become fully who you are, there are people who want that from you. There are people waiting for that, to hear from you. And they're just waiting for you to show up. And they are your people. We all have our people. We all have our tribe of people who want what we have to give. Like I said at the beginning, you are here for a purpose. And you have a unique way of presenting your gifts and the things that you've never done before because you you were made uniquely to be you. And so even if there's a thousand other, let's say you're a career coach, even if there's a thousand other career coaches in your neighborhood, <laughs> which is, would be a lot, um, you're still going to do it differently. You're still going to find the people who want to work with you when you're showing up fully as you. So if you sound like every other career coach and there's nothing different about what you're saying, mm, you know, you might still get some people, but if you're starting to say things the way that you say them and with the things that you believe in and the way that you help people and you actually talk about that more and you sound different because you are different and you're just being your personality, and especially that's the one wonderful thing about video is that video gives people an experience of you. People feel like they are around you and they feel like they, they've been talking to you. And one of the things when you're doing video is to talk directly to the camera as if you're sitting in front of someone and really actually have a person in your mind. And this is true whether you're writing or whether you're on video or any other content that you're producing, but really think of one person that you are talking to in that moment. So you're sitting in front of that person and you're saying, here's what I want you to know. or Here's how I can help you. Here's what I would love for you to be able to do after listening to this really you know, short little thought that you can go and put into action immediately. And so you talk to someone as if they're sitting right in front of you. And that helps you get really clear on your message. That helps them feel like you are talking just to them, even though you might talk, be talking to thousands of people at the same time. Each person hearing it or each person reading what you've written is going to receive it as if you are talking to them. So it's really important instead of, using language like, hey, everybody, or, you know, whatever else, but just say, I am so excited that you're here today, or I can't wait to share this with you, or whatever you would say. Um, maybe you wouldn't say you're excited, <laughs> but however you, I, that's what I do, so that's how I'm saying it. But say it how you would say it. Say it how you'd say it if you were sitting down with coffee across from that person and you're talking to them. And that's the voice that I, I continually remind my clients to use on LinkedIn. Who are you showing up as? Because their experience of you, the whoever it is that you're talking to, should be the same whether they're hearing you on a radio show or hearing your podcast or listening uh, to a video that you have produced and watching it or if they're reading your writing. They should feel like they know you. And you should reveal who you are because who you are is awesome. <laughs> really, truly, it's true. Whoever is listening to this, I know when I show up in a room with people, and this is actually one of my gifts, is that I see people. I actually see the core of who they are. And it's amazing. And I see what what they are here to do. And I see how they can do it. And I might not see all the details, but I see who they are when I show up in a room with them. And I can tell you every single person on this planet has brilliance that you are meant to bring. You, listening to me right now, yes, you have brilliance that you are meant to bring. And like I shared, I was intimidated to even put the word brilliance in the name of anything that I did. And certainly, I remember even telling my graphic designer, well, if my show or if my company is Bring Your Brilliance, and I have the word brilliance next to my picture. Ugh, I'm not comfortable with that. I'm not ready. <laughs> I don't even, you know, that, that doesn't feel like me. And 
let me tell you, I did it. Oh, my goodness, I was so terrified. I literally had the biggest butterflies. I was almost hyperventilating. I was so terrified. And I'm somebody who speaks in front of a, a room. I've done training and development my whole life. I've never, well, when I was younger, I was afraid to be in front of a room. But even that, I literally trial by fire. I, my very first ever training experience was when I went to my master's degree. I had to start a week late. It's a long story. But they put me in front of a lecture hall with like 300 people or an auditorium and I'd never seen the slides and they're like okay go read the slides in front of these people on the stage and that was my first ever training experience which obviously is not a good one but I, my point is I did it I showed up and I did what I had to do to get through that first scary experience and I learned each thing that I did and taking action no matter what you're doing so showing up consistently in life, whether you're showing up for coffee meetings, which we're not having right now, or whether you're showing up on Zoom calls and actually turning your camera on, which is another thing that's happening right now, or you're showing up on LinkedIn and you're saying the things that you want to say, or you're even cheering other people on and putting some of your own thoughtful comments on other people's things. You're still, still you showing up. And that's, that's the key. You are here to be seen, whether it's by one person or five people or 500 people or 5,000 people or 5 million people. I don't know what level you even want. And it's okay. You don't have to want the big things. But you are here. You know, we were put on this earth with other people for a reason. We weren't meant to live in a vacuum. We weren't meant to keep all of our gifts for ourselves. We were meant to shine brightly and share them with the world. And even if that world is the people around you. Right now, most of us, our world is at home with our family. It's the people that are around us. Or if we don't have a family at home with us, it's whoever we're showing up with on phone calls and Zoom and however ways we're connecting right now. But you have a role to play. And you have a light to shine. And that's what I love so much about what I'm doing now and why I got the nerve to put my face next to the word brilliance on Bring Your Brilliance because it's not about me. <laughs> and when I got out of my own way to realize it's not about me, it's about the people that I'm helping, and it's about you and sharing with you how you can bring your brilliance and how you can show up in the world and not be afraid to make a misstep because everybody does. And like I said, on LinkedIn, it goes by so fast. If you put something out there, first of all, you always can delete it if you really hate it. But most of the time, it's fine. It doesn't have to be everything you want it to be because you can produce another one. You can do two a day. You can do 20 a day if you want. I don't recommend that. But you can do multiple posts a day or you can do multiple posts a week or you can do once a week. Whatever it is, figure out, though, what your pace is and what's consistent for you because the biggest thing you can do is show up and show up consistently. And guess what? I'm still working on that. I am not consistent all the time on what I do and how I do it on LinkedIn, especially right now. I've been going through a lot with my family being home, with my dad being sick. There's so many things going on in my life. I'm actually not showing up very much on LinkedIn right now. But I've built up enough momentum. I've built up enough uh, people seeing me out there that people are still tagging me. People are still including me, which is awesome. And I get to show back up. And it's okay to pause sometimes too. So don't think just because you started means that you don't have to always be perfect in that either. Because, yes, people love seeing your posts and they love that consistency. But you know what? They also understand that if it, you take a pause, you take a time out, you can come back and and keep going when you're ready. So the biggest thing I hope you're hearing in all of this is just not to be so hard on yourself. Don't judge yourself harder than you would judge your friends or your kids. Don't judge yourself on whether or not you're perfect or you have some level of perfection that you have to live up to. And if you're not there, then you're just stuck in not doing anything at all. Um, because that's the worst thing. That is the worst thing of, of paralysis about perfection. So be you, be the messy version of you, <laughs> figure it out as you go. Just, as Brian Sanza would say, push the damn button. Quit being afraid and just put yourself out there. And then you can keep fine-tuning from there. So the example that I love is that 
you, let's say you want to become a video person on LinkedIn. So you could spend 30 days crafting and creating and fine-tuning the perfect video, and you produce it at the end of 30 days. Or you can spend every day for 30 days making a video, a short one-minute video, not perfect, just do it, put yourself out there, try to think of one thing to say, try to not say more than one thing, but you know what, if you say 10 things, that's okay, at least you did a video. But do one every day for 30 days. And who do you think is going to be the better video producer at the end of those 30 days? The person who did one more perfect version in 30 days or the person who's been showing up every day for 30 days and getting better and better and better every day? So again, you don't have to do video. You can do posts. You can even just comment on other people's things. But you do need to show up if you want to share your brilliance with the world, if you want to be leveling up. You've got to do something you've never done. You've got to do the thing you're afraid to do and be okay that you're afraid and do it anyway. And I want to talk a little bit about the things that I have been learning about really leveling up to a new level than I've ever been. Because that's the other thing is you've got to do something that you've never done. And like I said at the beginning of this, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So whether you're showing up on LinkedIn or you're showing up in life or you're just owning who you are and owning your gifts and owning your talents and and saying it in a way where you're not bragging. Like, really, you're not bragging if you're like, hey, I've got this wonderful gift of how I can share with you and here's how I can contribute best and here's what you can count on me for. And you're telling people what you want them to ask for from you, whether you're getting paid or not. This is true whether you have a team or anything else. You're, you're telling people about that. And it's it's not bragging. It's not being all about you. It's actually the best content is focused on how you're helping other people. So that if you don't think you have anything to say, think about the people that you want to help and what they need to hear. And then all of a sudden content becomes easy. And so back to what I'm doing now. So I've been doing a lot of this stuff. I've been doing this radio show now. I've been doing the LinkedIn stuff for many years. I've been doing training and development, all of the different things. I teach people about mindset. I teach people about leadership uh, qualities and things that they want to bring, emotional intelligence, all of those things. But there's something different that I have started doing in the last few months that really is making all the difference for me. And so I'm going to share that with you when we come back. My, my name is Carla Taylor. Again, you're listening to the Bring Your Brilliance radio show here on Inspired Choices Network, and we will be right back. We all have a personal brand. It's what people say about you when you're not in the room. What if you knew how to clearly and confidently communicate your value in a compelling way? Tune in to the Bring Your Brilliance radio show with personal branding and LinkedIn strategist Carla Taylor to discover the tools, resources, and inspiration you need to get started and keep growing. Are you ready to make your mark? Learn how to bring your brilliance by listening to the Bring Your Brilliance radio show every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Central, 8 a.m. Mountain, and 7 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Do you struggle to answer what do you do because you do many different things? Do you want your future clients to know, like, and trust you? Do you want to make LinkedIn work for you? If you're ready for extreme clarity and confidence with opportunities flooding your LinkedIn inbox, Carla Taylor's Bring Your Brilliance Coaching Masterminds and Workshops give you the exact steps to get it done. Don't have time to do it yourself? Carla's LinkedIn Content Ghostwriting Service is exactly what you need. Schedule your free consultation today at bringyourbrilliance.as.me or go to bringyourbrilliance.net. This is the Bring Your Brilliance radio show with personal branding and LinkedIn strategist Carla Taylor. To join today's conversation, call in the U.S. at 815-880-8255 or Canada at 613-800-8736 or Skype at Inspired Choices Network. Or ask a question or send a comment by email at bringyourbrilliance at gmail.com. Now, back to the program. 
hello, hello, hello. You are listening to the Bring Your Brilliance radio show on Inspired Choices Network. My name is Carla Taylor, and we are talking about leveling up LinkedIn and your life. And right before the break, I was talking about things that I'm doing differently in my life. And if you've listened to my show for a while, you probably know I had this amazing, epic, awesome beginning of 2020. And like many of you, I thought this was the year that all of these things were going to be coming into fruition and into my life, and I was so excited about 2020. And as you know, it didn't quite work out that way. (laughs) But one of the things that I learned in the beginning of the year and even at the end of last year, I really started to do some deeper inner work. And I started meeting other people who were really living out loud and living their best lives and and really showing me and I got to experience what me being fully aligned and fully authentic and living the life of my dreams looked like. And I got to experience it for about six weeks. And then, you know, coronavirus and all these other things happened and we're in the middle of this global pause and this global shift. And part of why I actually haven't been showing up as much out in the world is because I'm really showing up internally for myself and my inner journey. And I'm doing the work that I know I need to do to be able to be even brighter and more brilliantly shining out in the world to help more people. And so, again, it's it's okay if you are showing up consistently and then you take a time out. Uh, we all need it. And But what I'm doing differently in this time out period for me in this time of deeper reflection and and this deeper soul journey that I'm on is that I really am spending a lot of time in meditation. And I've heard this for years and I always thought, oh, yeah, that's a nice thing. And, oh, I don't really know how to do it. And, oh, it's, you know, when I have time, I'll do it. And, of course, you never have time. You don't find time for something you're not making time for. And so I'd meditate a little bit here and there. I, I would pray every day, but I just wasn't doing that very well or doing it very consistently or very deeply. And I have been working with, um, I actually started with an app called Headspace, which really helped me. It actually has a cute little animated series at the beginning for the free version. <clears throat> I don't remember if it's seven days or a 10-day thing that it walks you through, but it really starts helping you and training you about what is it, what does it even mean to meditate and how do you do it and is it okay if your thoughts are flying around and all of the things that that, that is a wonderful place to start for a brand new beginner. Um, and, and there's a lot more available there as well. But since I started, I've actually switched to a different app called Insight Timer. And right now that is my favorite app <laughs> by far is Insight Timer. It is over 40,000 free meditations, there's guided meditations, there's music, there's um, just, you know, breathing techniques, all sorts of things that you can learn from all kinds of teachers all over the planet. And you can look by time if you only have five minutes or if you have an hour or whatever time frame you have, you can look by topic. It is so great. And I am spending time on Insight Timer every morning and every night. Like, this is my go-to app, and it is changing my life, I have to say, to spend time, even if I only do five minutes. And a lot of times I actually want to do longer, but I only have a little bit of time, so I just do what I can fit into that time because maybe, you know, maybe I didn't quite manage my schedule as well as I wanted to that day. And I don't even do it every single time. There are certainly mornings and evenings that I've missed. But... This has become so great for me to understand what I'm bumping up against and what I've done my whole life is I've looked for answers outside of myself and I've looked for other people to follow or mentors or coaches, all of which are incredibly important. But the part I wasn't doing was the internal work of lining up with who I am internally and my fully aligned self. And that's what I did do and why I had such an epic first six weeks of the year. And, oh my goodness, if I can just tell you what it feels like, it is the most expansive, free, love, gratitude, joy experience that you absolutely get to have in your life too. And all it takes is to get really fully focused on hearing from yourself about what you need. 
And I had a guest on here a little while ago named Matthew Patty, and he is absolutely brilliant. He's one of the best coaches I've ever had. And part of what he teaches is that you already have the clarity you're seeking. It's actually inside you. And instead of clamoring and doing and going all over and, and getting really busy, the way your path to clarity and this clarity of, of your brilliance and what you want to bring to the world through LinkedIn and or anything else, but your clarity is already there inside you. you. You actually already know. And it's when you get quiet that you can hear it. It's when you get quiet. And I just got quiet for a second that you can actually hear the clarity that is already available to you because innately you know. Innately, internally, you know what aligns and what doesn't. And the older you get, the more, the louder that voice gets. And that's the beauty of it all, is that you have answers already inside of you. And you have answers by tapping into whether you call it God or the universe or whatever it is that is this greater entity outside of you, it is where you hear that. It is in the present moment. And when you get really quiet in the present moment is when you get to hear that. And it's beautiful and it's amazing. And I want that for you, especially if you've never had it or if you have and you know what I'm talking about, but maybe you're not doing it as much as you want it to be doing. This is your reminder that this is what's available to you and you are worth it and you can do it. And when you get really clear, all the creativity comes in too and suddenly you have so much you want to say and share on LinkedIn or wherever else you're sharing. And this is really the secret to it all of leveling up your life and your LinkedIn is to get quiet and hear your own clarity and creativity that comes pouring out when you do this. So I know we're at the end of our show. I am so sad because I actually had more things that I wanted to share, but that's okay. I hope this has helped you. At least something that I've said has helped you. I'm showing up as me. I'm not worrying about the people who don't like what I'm saying because they're not my people. I'm just being me, and I'm talking to the people who need me and want me and want to hear from me because you know who you are, and you know you've been wanting to hear this, and you know you might already know all of this, and you just needed this reminder. But to remind you who I am, again, I'm Carla Taylor. I'm from Bring Your Brilliance is my company. It's the name of my show. I help you bring your brilliance starting with this core of who you are, and then we get into all the different ways that you can bring it, whether it's in your career and and living the life of your dreams and having this amazing lifestyle of the career that you want and not just a job, or whether it's growing a following or growing your client base or whatever it is, but it's really about you just showing up as you, and I love helping you do that. And Speaking of showing up as you and knowing who you are, I can't wait to share what we have coming up next week. I'm going to be doing my own soul song, which I can't wait to share with you and tell you about. And I actually haven't done the experience yet, so I'm getting ready to do it this weekend. But tune in next week for a very special show. And for right now, I want you to spend some time today, even five minutes, getting quiet, tuning in, to who you are and what your brilliance is and how you can shine it brightly to help the people that you are here to help because they need you. And if we are learning nothing else right now, we know we have limited time here on this planet. So be deliberate about the choices you are making about where you spend your time and be bold and be brave and be brilliant and be you. And don't be afraid to bring your brilliance fully to the world and show up as your most authentic self because that, my friends, is what is Thanks for listening to another episode of Bring Your Brilliance with Carla Taylor. For the latest updates and info on personal branding, please follow and interact with Carla Taylor on LinkedIn. And be sure to visit www.itstimetobringit.com. Join Carla Taylor every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Central, 8 a.m. Mountain, and 7 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, keep...